Civil Air Patrol is a civilian auxiliary of the U.S. Air Force that you might not know about. You don't need to be a pilot or have military experience to join. It's a volunteer auxiliary. You do need to be interested in community service, mentoring, and bringing out the best in others. Civil Air Patrol, or CAP, was founded in 1941, just one week before the attack on Pearl Harbor that launched the United States into World War II. It was originally formed to train pilots and patrol the coastline looking for enemy submarines. Today, CAP has many new missions, including search and rescue, emergency services, humanitarian relief, youth development, and aerospace education for K through 12. And behind these important initiatives and life-saving missions, military veterans and dedicated community members who volunteer their time, expertise, and passion for giving back. Meet Brigadier General Edward Felkup. He helps lead the task force of more than 50,000 CAP volunteers. CAP is a congressionally chartered nonprofit corporation that operates in all 50 states, plus uh, Puerto Rico and uh, Washington, D.C. Civil Air Patrol members are proud to wear the uniform of the United States Air Force as the official auxiliary of the Air Force. It's a way for our members to be connected with service to our country. I joined Civil Air Patrol when I was 14. I was really interested in serving in the military, and it turned out that Civil Air Patrol service ended up being the way I served my country. But we have a lot of former members of the military who continue their service to the nation in Civil Air Patrol. CAP has over 25,000 cadets across the country, uh, ranging in age from 12 to 20 years old, and they're exploring careers in both military-related as well as civilian-related career fields. Meet Cadet Major Valeria Pacheco Lugo, a CAP cadet from the Puerto Rico wing. We get to learn about different STEM career opportunities, and we also get to participate of emergency services activities. So it's really awesome. It's really unique in a way, especially because of the people in the Civil War Patrol. Senior members and cadets is a very good environment and a very diverse environment. The Civil Air Patrol has helped me grow my character and leadership skills, especially because I was a very shy person when I entered the Civil Air Patrol, and being in a different environment enabled me to grow as a leader and as a young person. My parents joined the Civil Air Patrol because I actually convinced them to. Uh, they saw me wearing the uniform and I think they were very proud to see me serving their, my community voluntarily. Meet Colonel Andrea Van Buren, CAP's first female region commander in the Southeast. She's responsible for commanding six of CAP's 52 wings, including Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. The Civil Air Patrol is an incredibly diverse program, especially for females and minorities. And the Cadet Wings program in particular, which takes young people and helps them achieve their private pilot's licenses, that averages even more within the program than it is in general aviation. The Cadet Wings program has about 27% of our cadet students are female, whereas general aviation female pilots only account for about 7% worldwide. I originally joined Civil Air Patrol as an adult about 21 years ago. And what drew me to the program was actually the flying. As a pilot, I was interested in the very unique flying missions that we do. Civil Air Patrol, our Air Force Auxiliary, is looking for more volunteer pilots, educators, and leaders to serve America's communities on the ground and in the air, save lives, and shape tomorrow's leader, today's youth. Our members come from all walks of life. We have doctors and nurses, administrative professionals, finance experts, Chances are we have a job for you in the Civil Air Patrol.